Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verses 16 to 19 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. Family, once again, this portion of scripture is speaking about the Lord delivering us from our enemies. And I think that seems to be the general message that the Lord is portraying through the messages that we've been discussing this week. So I believe that there's one, if not more of you out there who've been watching these messages daily throughout the course of this week that are probably going through challenging times, that are having enemies standing against you. And I want to encourage you and say, I believe that because the Lord is speaking through these messages to you each and every day, that he is doing a mighty work in this situation, whatever it is that you're going through, I believe that he's doing a mighty work to deliver you and set you free from the enemies. I want to encourage you to apply the principles that we've been discussing in the scriptures throughout this week, and he will deliver you from that situation. He will bring you out the other side better than you went in. He will deliver you, family, if you just put your faith into action and apply the principles that we've been discussing in these scriptures and in these videos throughout the week. And I want to encourage you, if that's you and you come out of that situation and have a testimony from it, I want to encourage you to please drop some comments on some of these messages. Alternatively, please send me an email because I'd love to hear that testimony and with your permission, possibly even share it with others as well. Family, this portion of scripture is just such a beautiful portion of scripture and it speaks about how the Lord delivers us from our enemies. It's saying that the Lord reaches down from heaven to rescue us. When we're going in deep waters, when we're stuck in deep waters, when we feel like we're drowning, the Lord reaches down from heaven and he rescues us from that situation, family. It says there, he rescued David from his powerful enemies. Those who were even too strong for him, the Lord rescued him. Why, family? Because as we said yesterday, David knew that his strength came from the Lord and the Lord was much stronger than any of his enemies and the Lord is much stronger than any of the enemies that you are facing, family. So I want to encourage you to believe in what the scripture is saying, that the Lord will deliver you from your enemies irrespective of how strong and how powerful you think your enemies are family you must understand they are probably full of pride and the more full of pride they are the bigger they are and the bigger they are the harder they fall family it's exactly like that never think that your enemy is too powerful for God to be able to, del to deliver you from you cannot do it in your own strength but with God's strength in you and with God's strength working for you family you can be delivered from those enemies that you feel are too strong no one out there not even the devil himself is too strong for the Lord family because the Lord is the creator of the universe. He is almighty and all powerful family. And we must believe it that when we are in deep waters, when we are facing these enemies, the Lord will reach down from heaven and rescue us when we call out to him. And it goes on to say, they attacked when I was in a moment of distress, but the Lord supported me. The Lord rescued him. The Lord helped him through the difficult times, through the times that they were attacking, the Lord helped him and he'll do exactly the same thing for us, family, if we just believe that the Lord does it and if we just call out to him, family. And lastly, it says that he led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The other translations say he rescues me because he loves me. And we know, look, family, that the Lord loves us dearly. He loves us so much that he gave his one and only son to die for us, family, so that we could spend eternity with him in heaven. The Lord loves us. I want to encourage you, do not doubt for a second that the Lord loves you. And I want to challenge you with the statement that I often make. I dare you to believe that God loves you just as you are right now, and not only when you become the person you think you need to be. Just think about that for a second, family. God loves you that much. And because he loves you, if you call out to him, he will rescue you. He will support you. He will pull you out of deep waters. He will save you from your strong enemies, family. He will lead you to a place of safety, as the scripture says. He will keep you safe. He is your rock. He is your fortress. He is our savior, family. And we need to believe it. And when we have faith in what David is saying in these scriptures here, if we have faith in it as David had faith, he will deliver us. Look at David defeating, defeating Goliath. How do you think he did it, family? He did it because he believed in God. And if we can have that same kind of faith, God can do and will do the same thing for us, family. If he did it for David, he will most certainly do it for us. We just need to believe it, family, and call out to him. And when we call out to him, believe that he will do it, family. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Faith is the 
the currency of heaven and when we use and apply our faith, when we call out to the Lord in these times of distress, it activates God's blessings, God's protection and God's surrounding us and helping us through these challenging times and through the difficult times and people that we may be facing. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for the scripture and everything that is spoken about in the scripture, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for each and every person out there, myself included, Lord, that you will stir up faith within us, Lord, whenever we need it, Lord, whenever we are in deep waters, whenever we're going through challenging situations, whenever we are facing enemies that we think are too big, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will give us the faith, Lord, to be able to face them head on as David faced Goliath, Lord, and having the confidence and knowing that as we call out to you for help, as we put our faith and trust in you, Lord, to deliver us from this evil people, to deliver us from those difficult situations, as we put our faith in you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you show yourself strong on our behalf and deliver us from this people, deliver us from the situations, Lord, and bring us out the other side victorious, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're showing yourself strong on our behalf. We thank you, Lord, that you are our fortress, our rock, our protection and our savior, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you save us from every challenge that we face and from every evil person that tries to stand against us. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for every work that you're busy doing in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.